Welcome to another episode of Do-It-Yourself Dad. Today we're going to be talking about batteries for things like this, toy haulers, trailers, RVs, and such. And we're going to show you some recommendations and some great deals on batteries that you can find locally and how to do it yourself. RVers and campers have a lot of opinions on batteries. Um, these here are 6 volt golf cart batteries, and that's what we're using. There are a lot of other great options as well. There's gel cell batteries, there's marine batteries, and they all have their ups and downs. But we're gonna go with these six volt golf cart batteries. And the reason we're going with these is uh, because they are very effective at what they do. They are designed to cycle, to charge all the way up, and then come all the way back down when they're functioning as a golf cart. Now your system on your trailer or RV is gonna be a 12 volt system, and these are six volt batteries. So you do wire these in series, and this is pretty common to do. The other thing I really like about these is they're very easy to maintain. Um, these ones right here, you'll see the top. The whole thing comes off in one shot and you get right in there and top up your fluids. Now these batteries are batteries from Costco. These are Costco's golf cart batteries. Let me show you what was in the trailer before. So here's a picture of what was in the trailer before, and they are very similar to what we have here. From what I can tell, they're actually the same battery. The design is the same, the posts are in the exact same location, they're just branded differently. So you compare them to these. These are our new ones, and they're nearly identical. They should just plop right back in where they were before. Now let me show you here why I like Costco batteries so much. Let's come down here to the price. $83.99 per battery, $167 total. And uh, you can see here they do charge a battery core, but they voided mine out because I brought my originals in to begin with. So with tax here where I live, it was 182.16. You can't find a deep cycle 12 volt marine battery with the same capacity for that price. The last set of batteries that I had in my trailer were, I don't even know how old. I've had my trailer for four years and they've gone just fine without issue. And when I got it, those were pretty old batteries. So I'm guessing they were at least 10 years old probably more. So we're going to show you how to install these. It's pretty quick and simple. But something that really, really is helpful are these little pieces right here. When you're pulling your old batteries out, this is where you're going to be lifting from. And you can see it's not a lot. Very hard to grab a hold of. There is a tool you can use to lift these, and a lot of shops do have them. But you can also just tie a rope or a piece of paracord through it. Just make sure it's strong enough to hold the weight, and these things will come right out. So you can see here we've got our new batteries installed. They are wired up in series, and what that means, like we had talked about before, was our uh, negative is right here, our positive is connected to the negative on the other battery, and then our positive there is connected into the camper. So we have a six volt battery here, six volt battery here, making 12 volts in total, which is what you need to run the accessories on board this thing. Um, that's the same idea as if you put two AA batteries in a flashlight end to end, it doubles up the voltage. Same idea here. So um, here we are, we are all set. Everything is bolted in place. So the only thing left to do is go on board and make sure that all of our systems are working correctly. So now we come in here, turn on power to the RV, then hop up inside and uh, make sure everything is up and running. So you can see here we've got good voltage here on our battery and everything looks like it is good to go. So um, with that, the only other thing that you really should do is these batteries are not completely maintenance free. So hop on your phone, set a reminder every two months or so to check the fluids and make sure they're topped up. So with that, thanks for watching. Give me a great big thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the description. Let me know what kind of batteries you like to run in your camper. Thanks for watching.